Grab myself some grapefruits, navel oranges, and a blood orange. I'm thinly slicing all of my citrus fruit. Soak up as much of the juice as I can. I can fit as many slices of citrus as possible onto the racks till the citrus slices are dry and slightly translucent. Cut them in half and drop them into a mason jar. Some star anise, a sprinkling of whole cloves, and a couple of cinnamon sticks. So I take a length of jute twine and I hot glue the prettiest orange slices down the length of the twine. I add some white pine clippings. I measured how big I wanted my wreath to be. I'm gonna get in there where I have the oranges. See how we made these little clusters here? I am gonna use to put some of these pieces, use the glue gun for some of them. You can put them on. I have some cranberries in here. I am using this ribbon. But go ahead and just put quick drip of glue. So it's going to go on the middle of the door here. Let's gather some oranges out of the refrigerator. We're first going to cut some short pieces of rosemary heading upwards like the top of a tree. Using the floral pins, attach the rosemary until you have pretty full coverage. It's time to add our little cuties. I'm using basic toothpicks from the kitchen cupboard. I've started with a clear vase and I'm going to place about 12 to 15 little cuties inside the vase. I then am going to fill the vase with water till about an inch from the top. Now let's build our arrangement. I'm starting with eucalyptus silver dollar, variegated boxwood. Lastly, we're going to add our flowers. Took oranges and dried them in a dehydrator. I'm just going to use a hot glue gun, glue the cinnamon stick to the middle of the dried grapefruit slice, add a piece of rosemary, and maybe a little bit of star anise. I then take a wire, put it through the rind of the citrus, and you can make different assortments of these. Now it's time to attach these to the wreath. Grab a lemon, orange, or grapefruit and cut it in half or the fruit. Scoop out all of the fruit and set aside for something to be eaten later. Take a cotton candle wick or a wood wick. Check to make sure that it can stand upright when placed inside the empty fruit skin. I was able to scoop out a mango. With any of these fruits, it is important to soak up any excess moisture from the inner skin with a towel. Pour candle wax flakes into a candle pouring pot. Place the pot into another pan or double boiler filled with a few inches of boiling water. As the wax flakes melt, stir with a wooden spoon until all is melted and you have clear liquid wax. Pour onto the bottom of a piece of fruit. Place the candle wick in its stand in the puddle of wax and hold it for a few seconds until it is able to stand on its own. You can leave it as is at this point or you can add another layer of scent by sprinkling dried herbs. Let the wax cool and set for at least 30 minutes before you move them. I have set my table with a white tablecloth. So I'm going to start out with some foliage for uh, my centerpiece. Artificial peonies that I will tuck in. It really exposes the pretty colors, but the oranges are just so pretty, aren't they? Dragon fruit are so interesting. Um, the spring colors though, I thought looked so nice. These pretty hydrangea leaf placemats. It's folded in half. I'm gonna fold it in half again and just fold it right over top of the dinner plate. And then I'm just gonna set my salad plate right on top of it. I'm going to add my stemware. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put three cups of the powder plaster of Paris mix in my pot. Three. So there we go. And I'm going to stir this until it gets nice and thin. And now I'm gonna take my PVC and put it right down. Now we need to build our topiaries. Um, dowel, I'm going to just kind of press this into it, not too much. Fill the hole with a whole bunch of low temp hot glue of my dowel, like so. And then I'm just going to stick it right down in there because I don't want this to come off. This one I liked, and I'm just going to build this like a bouquet. 
because these are going to be a little long, but I'll trim those off, wrapping this around really tightly. Where I added my others, I'm gonna add this right here. Next step will be to finish the top of the topiary. I'm through the moss and right up into the styrofoam. I've started to put my bark down around the PVC at the bottom in all kinds of colors. I have picked up a number of chargers, fine sandpaper. I'm going to give each of my chargers a nice light coat of spray paint and trace the circle. And then I'm just going to cut out the circle because we're gonna fold it in half. Then we're going to fold it again until our pieces are this size. And I'm gonna lay these out on my charger. We're just gonna use our little cardboard and trace. So there we have, and I'm going to just start painting um, strokes going up and down like this. And I'm going to go ahead and set these out using putting my napkins right in my water glass. I might want to hang those at a later date. And these just go so well with the chargers. And we're going to start with three of these smooth foam half spheres. And we're probably going to have to put a couple of coats on this for me to be happy. And I'm just going to set it aside to let it dry. I'm going to get started with my orange one. And let's just get started the same way. Yeah, it's gonna pop that off. You have to be careful. Right, that orange one right down on top of there. I'm going to put a generous amount of hot glue, dowel, and just push it all the way down slices of fruit. And our yellow one, of course, becomes a slice of lemon. Gently put my little topiary of topsy-turvy. I am just going to go ahead and fill it with this nice, fun white shred. Take any glass vase or jar container that you have and layer the bottom with a couple of inches of greenery. Angle the ends of the greenery toward the outside of the glass. Next, grab your box of plastic wrap and start crumpling it into a bunch. But I did try to shape it into a sort of level disc. The third layer consists of fresh cranberries. Take a pitcher of water and pour over the top of all the layers. You can add a tea light 